in this episode of Attic Invaders. Dweebs, geeks, and weirdos. With the Halloween season upon us, it's time to get knee deep in the dusty and crusty. Will they strike out or will they strike gold at the local community sale? Another state, another attic. They're the Attic Invaders, ready to make attics great again. So Greco and Ed flew in for Retro Palooza weekend, and we still have one day to go until the convention. So what better way to kill some time than go into a community garage sale? Everything's bigger in Texas, especially my ego. So hopefully the garage sales can compare. Germany has good gas station. I got lucky a couple weeks ago when I got to rummage through someone's attic and basically buy out their entire childhood. Some people call it buying. I call it stealing. Garage sailing? Hi. Garage sales are always hit or miss. I'm not sure if this is the best way we can spend our time here. Definitely if it's the first day you're in Texas, but it's in Ark's backyard, so why not? Mostly it's just Halloween decoration looking at, but uh, let's check out some garage sales. <laughs> no, I have no clue what the new ones are. But they are all open. So the first few garage sales we hit is really all the typical kid stuff that you usually see. No interest to us. I'm not seeing anything that transforms or that I want to make a move on, including your sister. Oh, you just got grecked. But there's two rules to garage selling. Hit them early and hit as many as you can. It's a numbers game. The next garage we hit up seems to be in our bus, but there's a couple of VHS tapes dating back to the early 90s, and that's usually a good sign. So as per usual, I'm the only smart one in the group, so I actually ask people if they have games or toys. So all of a sudden, this older dude comes down with a box of stuff. Ooh. Cool. And I take a look at it, and it's a box of Nintendo consoles and games. Cool, thank you. How much would you want for the box? Oh. $20? Twenty dollars? Okay. Yeah. We can do that. Sure. Good. Gone. Yeah. What are the odds, dude? I mean, twenty bucks. A couple hours ago, I was still in Europe, where I would need to do like two hundred garage sales to even find this amount of games. I was actually looking for an N64, so this is great for eBay. Let's go home and refurbish. This, maybe. <laughs> I know how to do it. Yeah. That's a good. I see a couple of things in here I really want. I really like the Grey Zapper. The Golden Majora's Mask is a pretty cool one. I mean, there's a ton of really great titles in this lot right here. We got this entire box for $20. Did he come got more than one in there? Yeah. Did he come racing? Great finds, good games. But there's three of us, so we're gonna have to do a draft later. But let's see what else I got first. The guy actually pulls out some more stuff. He had a rock band set. Yeah, it should be a whole drum set. What is this? Uh, what system is it on? Three sixty. Some CDs and some Batman dolls. You're trying to oversell it. There were just Barbie dolls dressed as Batman. We ended up getting the Batman dolls for a fiver. There you go. How much for the bag of money? <laughs> Welcome to Attic Invaders. <laughs> right. Where, where's Greco? <laughs> He's in the attic. We don't, we don't know. He got lost. Textbook Attic Invaders. Have your other two pals distract the homeowners while the other one slips upstairs. Another state, another attic. Hmm. 
becoming a regular thing? I actually went up into the attic because it was easier checking the boxes before they came down. But I did send down some cards at least. Next up, they bring us some Yu-Gi-Oh cards and some Magic the Gathering cards. Tons. How much did you do on these cards? What'd you say? Um, 10 bucks. We ended up paying $20 for all of these cards and we got the heck out of there. You paid $20 for those? That was pretty fun, right? Pick my nose, there you go. Making right. addicts great again. And make me. We bought so much stuff. <laughs> so, Greco, how was addict invading? That's fun. I, uh, Am I saying it right? Attic? Attic? Attic, yeah. A T T I C. A T T I C. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's it's fun. I think it's uh, my second time in an attic now. Apparently, this is going to become a regular thing. It's a thing, though. Uh, yeah, I got to hit up more yard sales. Too bad it's kind of the end of the season, at least where I am. But uh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. People were pretty inviting. We found stuff. Two complete systems in 64 and NES. Oh, I, I didn't weird. see like a controller. I didn't see the controller. Yeah, the controllers, but but still, I mean, 20 I'm bucks, like one of the Zeldas will probably just pay for that. So it was definitely good. Is it Majora's Mask a $40 game? Uh, 30. Let me tell you, after finding a lot like that, you see garage sales in a whole different view. We actually went back to one of the garage sales we initially passed up because they didn't really show any potential. All they had was a mirror and some furniture. And when you look like this, you already own plenty of mirrors. The lady explains that she has a Nintendo and a Game Boy. Soon it becomes apparent to us that the Nintendo she was talking about is actually a Genesis Model 2 and a couple games, which is also great. Actually, I played Sonic, I guess, with my brother. It was always Tails. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> Tails was... Are you the story. younger sibling? Or? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tails is good though. Thanks. Outrun seems nice. And it's a cardboard box copy. Usually Sega games are in plastic. Uh, I mean, honestly, there's nothing too... Too fancy. Rare or special. So the games aren't too special, but there is a Sonic and Knuckles not for resale in there and quite a bit of games. So we ended up settling on 25 bucks. Then her mom starts talking about Mario Kart and apparently she has an N64 at home that she needs to take a closer look at. I think we all know what that means. It's our house. Nintendo 64. Stuff. Yeah, so That's like all mm -hmm. I played. This is so much fun, guys. We just picked up a Genesis lot, and I also picked up a Game Boy Color mm -hmm. transparent what? edition with uh, Tetris and Super Mario Land. How much was that? 15. 15. 15 oh. doll hairs? Doll hairs. Yeah, yeah there it is. Um, and it came with two dead AA batteries. <laughs> yeah. You don't see that very Free. <laughs> Ed shook her down, man. She's like, I really don't want to give this up. Like, I, like it's from my childhood. Please, sir, can you leave? And he just, <laughs> he just wouldn't do it. You know, if, if you could get them to bring out the stuff, they're like 90% willing they're to sell it, you know. And we might even have a lead on N64, so we should get pictures later on today. Everywhere we go, we're finding this though. There's no stopping us. We hit up a couple more garage sales. We do attics, basements, crawl spaces, storage units. We're like the Bubba Gump shrimp of hunting. Are you guys gamers where we sell this stuff? Uh, we're collectors, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it works. Obviously, we just moved and she just doesn't use it anymore. Okay. Yeah, the we use the one, I skipped that one. Oh, it's awesome. It's Is great. It? Yeah, yeah. I, I love it. <laughs> Better we you than we me. What the f <gasps> am I saying? I played it, but then, you know, they, they put out the Switch, the Switch. And, and it was like, oh, well. I can't turn it down. <laughs> so these are regular Wii remotes, right? Mm -hmm. It's probably in the DS. Yeah. Okay. What? So the Wii U bundle was a little bit too overpriced, but it's nice to see that everywhere we go, we can actually find something. It's like we traveled back in time. That's pretty neat, mythology. 
Guys, so we are done with the garage sales for today. We were able to give out uh, my phone number for some N64 stuff for later today. So fingers crossed, dude. What did you get? Uh, something <laughs> a little untraditional. Dweebs, geeks, and weirdos. So Never played this game, came out in 88. Uh, just figured we could have a little family game night yeah. tonight. Uh, for one buck, you can't... we all fall into one or many of these categories. I think all three, actually. Yeah. Um, and then what again, something get? I don't usually pick up: literature. Okay. Uh, 2001 was obsessed with this for a while in high school, all because I didn't understand it. And then some mm -hmm. some cliff notes for those of those uh, book reports that oh, yeah. I failed to turn in on time. That's uh, it. Again, some Gatsby was another great uh, American novel of mine that I enjoyed. One of the few books I've read. That's Odyssey because awesome. I'm Greek. Uh, Brave New World. And how much were those? Uh, Two dollars. Two dollars. That's that's a steal. Not even gonna haggle, man. She doesn't know what she had. Nope, she didn't. She didn't. So we're gonna go back to uh, the Narc layer, and we're gonna do a little game draft. Is that what we're gonna do? Ooh, yeah. hmm. this, this is gonna get ugly. Get so we're gonna we're all gonna stop smiling. <laughs> it's gonna get real serious real quick. <laughs> So now we're over here in Craig's Narcs Nerd Lair, and uh, we're doing a draft of all the stuff we found at the garage sales. So, the draft. So, so after finding all this stuff, even though I did most of the work, we decided to be fair and hold a draft. Craig's here, so we're gonna we're gonna take a look at this stuff. Hey guys, so we are here, and this is the um, the great draft of 2019. So the great garage sale draft of 2019. So we got a bunch of stuff. Let me give you a little closer look. All right, so we got this NES system, the Zapper, N64, tons of cartage, and uh, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, lots of N64 games. What is it, like 17 or something 17. like that? Uh, Sega Genesis version two with those games over there. And some Batman figures. Some, what are they, the Barbies? Yep, there's Adam yeah. West and Selena Kyle. Bam. And uh, I think Greco is going to go first. He's kind of looking around. He's playing the field. It's, uh, you know, wondering what he's going to pick. What do you think he's going to get? What do you think? What do I think Greco's going to get? Yeah. Um, he's going to grab all the stuff I want and then be like... Yeah, what's going to what's gonna make you cry? <laughs> 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 I think that's what I'm going to go for. Now, I got first pick because without me asking you the questions, none of this would have happened. So I decided to stick to my toy roots and hang on to the Batman. Was it going to be Greco? So what's it going to be? At this point, the decision for me is either between a game or a Batman figure. Sure. Now, okay. Obviously, I'm traveling. Yeah. It'd be easier to grab a game. Before the draft, we thought, hey, if there was anything in this pile that somebody was really gunning for or had some sentimental value, that we would kind of pick and choose that way first, and then whatever was left over, we would have a round robin draft. We are drafting right now. I already got the Majora's Mask with the hologram label. Got the Zapper thing, the gray Zapper, because in Belgium, I only see. The one with the orange. It's going slow, but um, feeling good. <laughs> feeling, gonna, feeling good about it. Feeling good about it. Uh, Greco already got away with an N64 because he's going to be rekindling with his childhood. And hard driving. Hard driving. Your thoughts on the draft. So my thoughts on the draft, I totally got screwed. Like, I ended up with junk. Sega Genesis, I had a Nintendo console, and an N64. Like, where's the games? Now in hindsight, admittedly, I do have some regrets about the video game portion of this draft. Because not only did I make the wrong choices in terms of picking the best value at my selections by bypassing on Hydro Thunder, which is kind of like the dark horse in this draft, but also a ripped up copy of Mario Kart. Because even though the label was a mess, it still had more value than some of the games that I chose to take. I actually ended up picking up the Hydro Thunder everybody's talking about, but I didn't know the game was worth that much. All right, guys, we finished the draft. I got all this stuff right here. Um, yeah, picked up 
some things to just trade with over at the shows we're going to go to, the stores we're going to hit up next. And uh, yeah, pretty happy, pretty glad. Thanks for being so kind during the draft, guys. So we were waiting around for a bit, but all of a sudden a image got sent to my phone and it is a crispy N64 with Mario Kart and two N64 controllers. <laughs> what you got? Whole oh, lot of Nintendo. Nintendo? It's gotta be worth at least two hundred dollars right there. Bucks, tell you, man. tell you what. Look at that son of a bitch. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Expansion pack. Yeah. Uh, oh, moment of truth. Womp <laughs> womp <laughs> womp. Still good. Though. Awesome. <laughs> so honestly, I thought that this was really one of the highlights of my entire trip to Texas because not only was it one of our first experiences together but we really hit the nail in all the bullet points of, of what hunting and hunting together is really all about. I mean we got out there in the wild this wasn't a convention this wasn't a staged event this is something that wasn't out in the forefront that kind of smashed us in the face we had to dig for this we had to hunt we had to uncover this mystery and we did it together. So really the garage sale experience was a success. That usually never happens, especially around here. I mean, you have to be out there hitting these sales like every freaking weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, any time there's a sale, you have to hit it. And you have to ask the question, what's in the attic? You got any games? You got any toys? What you got? But this time we came out plentiful and it was freaking amazing and I'm glad that Greco and Ed was here and to bask in all the vintage glory. And it was just a great shared experience that is really what you hope for when you get together with you know strangers from the internet. Let me tell you, I totally love my first USA garage sale experience. My first day in Texas was amazing. Meeting out with Narc, meeting up with Greco Fabulous and hanging out. We still have a couple days left over here in DFW because we're going to be on the Retro Palooza panel. So I don't know if I have any words of wisdom when it comes to attic hunting, even though I am a self-proclaimed attic invader. But any chance you get to kind of do the digging for the person and kind of stop them from just dragging random boxes down is, is probably something you want to pursue. Because, number one, if they're elderly, you feel bad that they're just going to 